Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com. Here with some thoughts about former New Orleans defensive coordinator Greg Williams's planned visit and interview this week with very prominent NFL personnel. I'm expecting the worst for Greg Williams. I'm expecting the punishment that he, he's going to receive for allegedly running an annual bounty pool in more than one city over a period of several years to be the most severe punishment ever given a head coach or Williams used to be the head coach of the Buffalo Bills or former defensive coordinator and he was most recently the defensive coordinator for the New Orleans Saints in recent NFL history, right? The league can't afford to do anything else. Williams apparently was hired by Jeff Fisher to be part of the coaching staff with the St. Louis Rams. I don't think Williams will even be eligible to be a member of the St. Louis Rams coaching staff, certainly not its defensive coordinator, for the next calendar year. I'm expecting the punishment to be very harsh, very swift, and to keep Greg Williams out of the sport for the upcoming season. The timing of the disclosures could not be worse. The league is being sued by several different player groups and some of the plaintiffs suing the league are fan favorites right super bowl winning chicago bear quarterback jim mcmahon 2000 yard rusher jamal lewis right one of the stalwarts with the green bay packers of the 1990s dorsey levens and keep in mind this is coming after there's been a much greater awareness of the dangers of concussions in sports and of course we're now learning about suicides uh, Dave Dewerson for example um, of players who literally were complaining of head trauma and of course, we've recently lost some players who apparently had dementia later in life who were Hall of Famers, players like John Mackey. So given this climate, the NFL has its hands tied. Don't expect Greg Williams to get the kind of sentence that Bill Belichick got for Spygate. This is much more serious. I think there's an outside shot that he gets banned from the league pending some application for reinstatement after a one or two year period. If you're a futures better, my recommendation to you is to stay away from the St. Louis Rams. New coaching staff, lack of continuity, and now you're going to have this scandal, right, requiring that the Rams actually get somebody else to be their defensive coordinator and let's get real the NFL draft is right around the corner right the combines have already happened I am sure the Rams were gonna go in a certain direction defensively to get personnel that could play Greg Williams's system now of course it doesn't look like Greg Williams is gonna be there and for those who don't think that the evidence against Greg Williams isn't overwhelming, understand you have different groups of players on different teams admitting that when they played under Greg Williams, there was a bounty pool in place. And if you don't realize how bad this bounty pool is, understand that apparently... Williams targeted specific players on the other side, including high-profile athletes like Brett Favre and Kurt Warner. And if you knocked 
out those players, you got $1,500. If you hurt the player where he was carted off the field, according to reports, you got $1,000, right? In other words, to get the bounty, you would either have to give an opposing player a concussion or literally tear their knee or do something that required that they not be able to walk off the field, right? Let me also point out, too, that as you can imagine, the playoffs have even more stars playing in the games than the regular season, right? Just look at the last playoff um, group. Tom Brady was in the playoffs. Um, Eli Manning was in the playoffs. Aaron Rodgers was in the playoffs. Drew Brees was in the playoffs, right? The playoffs are where you have the quality teams. Understand that Williams actually doubled and sometimes tripled the payoff for playoff hits. Think about that. And so I don't think the league has any choice but to come down with a major reprimand of this guy. And because of the pending lawsuits, I think we're kidding ourselves if we don't expect Williams to get a minimum of eight games out of the league. And let me also say, too, you know, the Rams, they have to think about replacing him. I don't think... They're going to stick around and wait for this guy to become eligible again. If Williams gets suspended for eight games, 16 games, 32 games, I think the Rams have to move on. Right? I do believe the Rams have to move on. Not only that, let's say the league only give, gives Williams four games. How can they then argue in court? that player safety is a top priority. And let's remember how bad this is. This isn't one wayward player, you know, doing late hits and overdoing it. This is completely different. This is literally a member of a coaching staff repeatedly running a red light. We all knew that bounties were illegal from the Buddy Ryan days. And this guy is running bounties in multiple cities. Not only that, when he's head coach of the Buffalo Bills and he's running a bounty, doesn't that expose the league to liability by any other player who got injured by one of Greg Williams' players? My advice is to stay away from betting on St. Louis Rams futures. Um, expect Greg Williams to be suspended, in my opinion, for a minimum of eight games. Minimum. And I think he's going to have a very hard time landing another job. His career is in jeopardy. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com and dwyerfootball.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching.